Welcome back. Well, time for a look at the TV ratings uh, with James Manning from Media Week. And James, here we go. Week 20, free to air top 10 yeah. first there. And the big change now, isn't it? It's all nine. You know, we looked at seven for a long time earlier this year, and it's all nine. And uh, just turning the page, you can see some more there. Yeah. Seven News did, did come in Squeaked at number, number 10. 10. Yeah, absolutely. And let's have a look at subscription TV there for week 20. The yeah, uh, pretty much all sport, all sport all the way through the top 10. Nearly all the top 20 was sport. Uh, Wentworth snuck in uh, just outside the top 20, I think, in a couple of the Fox 8 animation series. And just on Wentworth, Foxtel reporting bigger numbers after they've included, of course, the or calculated the size yeah, of the, the time shifted audience. audience. Yeah, about 631,000 people. So one of the most watched shows ever, is on, ever on a subscription TV platform. So it's uh, pretty good. Still no news about a second series, but you've got to think, well, that's uh, they'll probably work towards that. How does time shifting affect ratings? And yeah, it looks like that's just becoming increasingly more important uh, as, as time goes by. You know, the, uh, the big free-to-air dramas now could be 20, an extra 20, 25 per cent of the, uh, the audience that watch overnight. You can add on in that, that week's viewing. So it's, yeah, becoming a big factor and something that advertisers are becoming increasingly more aware of. But you do question the, uh, the brand awareness of the ads during those time-shifted programs, but they, you do take some notice of them. Um, we saw the block there appearing, you know, featuring heavily in that top ten in the ratings. How is the battle of the, the home reno shows yeah, going? Yeah, uh, the block versus house rules. The block really won the first week pretty much. Uh, house rules had a pretty poor start, but it's really hit back in the second week. A lot more viewers, and uh, that's certainly in a fight that's not over yet. Uh, and just finally, we heard earlier uh, Evan Lucas from IG talking about this offspring. Obviously, it's back on ten now. How's it going? Yeah, and look, Evan got pretty much right. The figures were good, not great. Not great by nine and seven standards. They were great by ten standards. It's, all, it's nearly the most watched program on the network since Easter. So it was pretty good coming off the low base they've, uh, they've been on. So ten, there's certainly some momentum uh, building there with MasterChef coming back soon, maybe a couple of other shows. They, they could slowly be getting back into the main game. All right, James. Lots to watch out for and a big sure. week next week too. Thank you so much for that. Thanks, Bridie. And that's all we've got time for on Media Week this week. From the team here, thanks for your company.